sun is God, said the master William Turner. This video is about backlighting, shooting against the sun, more specifically about its influence on street photography. But let's start from the beginning. What makes a good photograph? Or in this case, a street photograph? I would say that the human presence in a photography is probably the most important and impactful aspect in a photograph. When you have a human face, what you see is not always what you get. We might see some emotion, but a face always hides more uncertainties, identity, desires, tensions, trauma, and the human face will be always this enigma which carries more than the eyes can see. But in some photographs, the singular human presence is only part of a larger scene. When we make a frame wider, we capture the whole environment and everything that's surrounding the subject. That scene as a whole tells a story, communicates a feeling, or delivers a message. So we establish that the people and all the environment surrounding the subject are the essentials to create a good street photo. But the third element, and now aiming to create mood and atmosphere, is lighting. The quality and direction of light are essential aspects when considering making an engaging photograph. You can create a completely different feeling with the direction of light, sometimes frontal light, side light, low or high angles of light, harsh or diffuse light, it doesn't really matter. The feelings will be created by the best use of light. We can always go back to the great ones, the great masters, to find some inspiration. Personally, I always follow the light when I shoot on the streets, and I really can say that I probably worked with every type of sunlight conditions over the years. But there is one type of light that I neglected, and not only neglected, but I also have a lot of disdain for, is backlighting. But recently, when I got the Fuji GFX, I wanted to experiment with the camera in many different light conditions. And by mistake, I found the backlighting, it's actually quite okay. I also wanted to be more productive and stop wasting time when walking against the light. So I played a little bit with backlighting and slowly I really got into. So on this video, I'm gonna go through the process of shooting street photos against the light. So very first thing you need is good lighting. Not necessarily harsh light, but if it's too overcast, the lighting will be too flat to create any sort of effect. Ideally, you would have a very thin layer of cloud diffusing the sunlight. So once you have some sunlight, you obviously should shoot your subjects against the light. Then play with the exposure to get a good amount of details on the shadow side of the picture. That will make some parts of the image overexposed, but that's okay. Now, to get the misty, glowy effect, and also a more diffuse light, you will need a promised filter. It's not a must, but it's gonna be very helpful to get that effect. I have a whole video on street photography daytime with the promised filter. I will leave a link on the description. So now you have good lighting, you have a promised filter, and you are shooting against the light. All you need to do now is take photographs and spend as much as you can outside. And once you have a lot of pictures, come back and we can do some editing together. So just before you go there, just a few tips when you're shooting outside. Smoke is something that really has a nice effect. Also try to play with windows and reflections. All these scenes work really well when you shoot against the light. 
so we are now in Adobe Lightroom. The first thing I'm gonna do here with this photograph is to do a little bit of cropping. Then the next thing I'm gonna use is a preset. This is a native preset in Adobe Lightroom. It's the NC01. It's the very first one on the top on the menu. And then we're gonna play with the amount. So we're gonna pull down a little bit, go to the left. This, the next thing we're gonna do is pull the blacks and make the image a little bit darker on the dark parts. And the next thing is the most important one of all is the dehaze. We're gonna increase the haze in this photograph that will make the image a little bit more diffused and we're gonna bring more details from the shadows. So just a recap now, to make good photographs with backlight, you're gonna need good lighting, probably a promise filter and also and obviously shoot against the light. Then we can bring these images in Adobe Lightroom and play a little bit with color. You can use the presets and then change the amount and also with the dehaze. I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more videos like this one. Have a good light. Ciao.